a synapsopathy is a disease that um, where the synapse is is the the part of the brain that is disrupted. So synapses are the uh, place where neurons communicate with one another. They're, they're microscopic junctions um, where neurotransmitters are released from one uh, neuron's axon and the other neuron the postsynaptic neurons, dendrites, have these small protrusion called um, synaptic spines, and they are the receiving half of the synapse. And those synapses have receptors, and uh, those receptors receive and transmit the chemical signals, the neurotransmitters, and those synapses are are thought to be the the unit of, of um, mess signal across neurons. And so uh, a, a synapsopathy is a disease that uh, affects those synapses. And fragile X and autism are thought to be synapse, we've defined them as synapsopathies because we've known for a number of years that patients with mental retardation and autism have um, disruptions in those dendritic spines. And so they look different. There are more of them. In some cases, some cases there are less of them. Um, some cases they're longer and skinnier. Some cases they're shorter and fatter. And it, in fact, we think that plasticity of those synapses is what's accounting for fragile X and autism and that um, it serves as, a, as a, orga, a way to think about the diseases rather than, for example, Parkinson's disease. We think of it as primarily a disease of the dopamine neurons in a very specific part of the brain, whereas autism seems to affect the whole brain. Um, and there isn't one specific brain region that is by itself involved. But synapses exist across the whole brain. And so if the, the unit of disruption is the synapse, then we call it a synapsopathy.